Hey guys, I am back with another review today and this is KO by Vanessa. I just threw her on my mannequin head so I can show you guys the parting space and the baby hairs. Now, I have her in the color SP1B30 and that's the stock card and this is the cap construction. So there are two small combs on the side without the braids, a comb in the back and the adjustable straps. And as you can see, the parting space is really good. Now, this unit does have baby hairs. Now, this is where the problem starts. These baby hairs are thick, long, and curly like Mr. Snuffleupagus eyelashes from Sesame Street. So, that was a chore. Now, here I am putting a little bit of got to be glued on the side with the braids because there are no combs. And I wanted to prevent it from doing any sliding before I started styling them. Guys, these baby hair, I combed them, I brushed them, I gelled them, I cut a little bit. I had my menopause fan going and a wind tunnel. I was sweating. Oh, my goodness. Also, the hair under the braid, it's kind of made to go over your ears. You can kind of see there, and that's a little awkward to me. So, I did actually end up cutting a little bit of that so it would go behind my ear and look a little more natural um yeah just watch the struggle here just on the struggle bus with these baby hairs because i don't know who they thought was going to be able to work with these but anywho also the styling of the wig kind of reminds me of one of those retro 80s styles back in the day with the bang because the bang is so short and the density of the wig the style matches. It, it goes good together. But it does remind me of one of those throwback 80s styles that people wore their hair in. I do think it's cute though. So let me tell you what I ended up doing was going back and cutting those baby hairs off. They are attached to the lace. So I just cut a little closer to um, into the lace so that I will cut those baby hairs off. I also put a little powder in the part, although it's not needed, as you can see in the video when I showed the inside of the wig. The parting space is really good. I guess it's just a force of habit. Okay, guys, so right here is where I finally gave up those baby hairs defeated me. So I just used a little bit of my own edges, what's left of them. And um, I just put a little bit of um, the black got to be glued. Maybe I should go in. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. But yeah, I just used a little bit of my own baby hairs, combed through the wig. Now, I did not um, experience much tangling or shedding at all. I did get a little bit of shedding when I cut the lace, and it was a little tangling, tangling for me just kind of fighting with the wig a little bit, putting it on. So that was my first time combing through. I got a few little snags, but after that, it was pretty good. Now, like I said, the density of this wig is very natural, so... It's a good density. It, it matches the wig. The braids are a good density. Everything looks really cute. The only problem I had was those baby hairs. Now, I actually purchased this wig from EbonyLines.com, so I will leave all the purchasing info in the description box. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe.